Hey guys, it's Damien from Marketing Food Online. I hope you guys again are having a great day. I am super excited to show you what I am about to show you. Um, of course, here on Marketing Food Online, if you're looking to start a food business of pretty much any kind, this will be the channel for you. If you're new to my channel, uh, I have a ton of videos that will show you how to bring a recipe to market. Um, everything that you would need to know from packaging, barcodes, insurance, how to incorporate yourself and everything in between. So if you're brand new to my channel, definitely subscribe. You will benefit from a decade plus entrepreneurial food business experience. And I've also been in the food business for nearly 30 years. Um, it has been a long ride, but I definitely have a lot of experience and know-how and knowledge to bring you guys information that is actually useful. So with that being said, I am actually wanting to show you, um, I did one video on AMS Scout, which is AMZ Scout, sorry. Uh, it is a software program that allows you to get an enormous amount of data and information from products sold on Amazon. Now, I am, of course, geared towards food products. This, uh, this software can actually be used for anything that you're looking to sell on Amazon. It pulls data and information from sales figures, um, weight, the fees, the net, the pricing, the reviews, and a ton more information. But of course, my review of the product itself is actually going to be geared around food products and showing you actually how to use this software to figure out maybe you're on the fence about what type of food product you want to create. And that's perfectly fine. When I started my entrepreneur experience years ago, I actually have had six different businesses before I finally found this one that is something that I'm really passionate about. And there's something that I actually was able to tap into all my experience being in the food business. So I said, you know what? I'm going to stick to the food business and that is something that I can excel in because I just know a lot about it. Uh, so utilizing this software, um, I'm actually today's specific video. This one here is going to be about superfoods. If you're not familiar with superfoods, superfoods are gaining an enormous amount of popularity and actually in general, they just have a lot of nutritional values to them. They are uh, normally roots or different types of herbs and naturally grown plants that are then ground up into either powder form and they can be put into energy bars. You can eat them raw uh, in the powder form itself by putting them into smoothies or um, any type of food product you can incorporate them in. Um, so they're very popular and I'm going to show you how you can actually make a profitable business by creating a line of your own of superfoods. And I'm just going to show you the margins, the types of profits you can honestly make. Um, and I'm going to pitch this to you and not, <clears throat> excuse me, as a not get rich scheme, this is not something like that. I'm not going to tell you in 30 days you can create a store and be selling $100,000 with this product. That's not how the real world works. And that's not how real businesses work, to be honest with you. If you're actually looking to create a line of food products and you want to grow a business and create a brand for yourself and you want to create a line of products that you can eventually maybe even sell the business or just expand on your line and, and then have a co-packer create it and basically do the work for you in a sense, um, that is a actual business plan that would work. That is what I have done over the years. And I now actually private label my own products. So let's get focused on this specific list of information and products in front of you here that I'm scrolling down. So here is one example. Okay. Maca is a root. It's, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's grown in Peru. It's a Peruvian root. It's grown at a very high elevation. Um, it is a very healthy root that is actually... Uh, harvested and dried and then put into a powder form. Um, and th the listing here, AMZ Scout, what it does is you basically create up in the top here, you start with your keyword. You want to check out some specific item, okay? I put in Maca, okay? It's M-A-C-A. I hit the data product database, which would bring up all the, all the possible product matches that are on Amazon, okay? These are different products that are packaged differently, different sizes, different weights, some in bags, some in cans, et cetera, some even in pill form. Uh, let me show you really quick. They even have it right here in capsules, right? Okay, but I'm gonna show you most importantly how to make a product similar to this one. Now I'm gonna click on it. It's gonna pull over here to Amazon really quick. Give me one second. Here we go. Okay, this is a... I'm going to take a, a really good guess. This particular product is probably private labeled or even co-packed for this company. Um, take a look at the label. This type of packaging, see this here where it is clear on the front and it has a silver backing actually. It's got the, uh, of course, the Amazon barcode there. Um, and then it has its product label 
its logo, all that good stuff, right? And a little bit of information about what it is, who packs it. It's distributed by Pure Natural Miracles, okay? Distributed, okay? There's a lot of companies who will produce a product and have a co-packer make it, or they just buy it in bulk, put it in a bag, slap a label on it, and or they actually buy it this way, packaged, and they distribute the product, okay? So you may see that in a lot of products where it says distributed by, and there's a difference. And the reason why I want to show you the importance of what that means is that so many of these products are produced or manufactured, physically put together, assembled, if you will, by another company, a co-packer. For these companies, they put their labels on it and they distribute it, okay? So they're not necessarily manufacturing. Like this, a lot of these companies don't have a presence, let's say, in Peru, and they're actually over there making it. They buy it in bulk, break it down, and then they resell it. That's, in essence, how it works. And something like this, <clears throat> excuse me, is exactly the same thing that you can do, okay? And what you do is you end up just buying this in bulk, and I'm going to give you a specific seller, a company you can buy this in bulk for ridiculously cheap prices, okay? And the quality is, is unbelievable. I've actually dealt with this one particular company for probably 11, 10 or 11 years. It's when I first started uh, this business. Actually, I've been with them, so it's been a while. Um, and they keep adding great products. And I'm not only just great products, but the quality. Uh, by the way, I'm not getting paid to promote um, the company I'm going to show you who sells the maca. This is not some promotional thing. I'm not getting not some sponsorship or promotional thing. No. Uh, it, it's just something that I would highly recommend you guys look into. The company is fantastic. And the quality of the stuff is great. So how could you create a product? Right here, you've got two pounds, right? Two one-pound bags, 26, 25. The fees for FBA, okay? Um, this is actually a merchant fulfilled. MCH is a merchant. Some of them, if you see here, FBA, that means that that product is in the warehouse at Amazon. Amazon is pulling that product, shipping the product, offering the customer service and doing all of the back end for this product. That's what FBA stands for, okay? Now, this one is a two pound bag, two, pound, two one pound bags that is merchant fulfilled. So this person who is selling it is fulfilling it. That means they ship it, they handle the, they all that good stuff, okay? Why is that important? Let me show you really quick why. This particular product here is 16 ounce. It's one pound, correct? Okay, now they're selling it for $34.95 for one pound. Why? Because FBA's fees are $9.45. So for them to pull that product from their inventory, box it, ship it, and if there's a problem, their customer service takes care of it, one pound is being shipped out for $9.45 at, at, at a fee. Okay, they get, they get charged that. So they net $25.50. I could tell you this right here, there's a company I will show you in two and a half seconds here. You can buy this for $4 a pound in bulk. And it's organic, by the way. The one you're going to buy is $4, okay? So let's just hypothetically take this $25. they are going to net after their retail FBA fees. They have $25.50. Let's say it was $4. Better yet, let's say it was 5 On a high side, $5, it costs you $5 a pound plus your bag and your label, they're walking away with $20 a pound, guys. Now, this is just one superfood, by the way. There's dozens of different superfoods, and I'm going to show you the website where you can buy these at bulk prices and have it bagged, or bag it yourself even. Just co-pack it yourself. If you've got a commercial kitchen, you've got a facility that you can even rent out if it's a commercial kitchen that can be rented and you go there and you rent it for a little bit of time you pack up all of your product you label it and it's just shipped out or you fulfill it yourself and you've got a commercial facility of course remember you can't do this from home and cottage food businesses do not apply to selling online okay so but if you're looking to create you get yourself a warehouse space and start a company and do this and i know you're probably thinking well yeah that sounds like it's easy to do damien you can just say that and it costs so much well yeah, it would be a little bit of investment for you to rent out the space. But before you do all of that, doing some research like this here, you can understand the, the, the margins that you can make on products of things you you don't have to have someone else do it for you. You don't have to because it ends up costing more money. Co-packers do cost more money per unit, per pallet. It's just bottom line. They will. But at the end of the day, let me take a look here. Same thing. So this guy here, the same one. 
you've got one pound, 25. So if it costs you five bucks a pound, which would include the product, the bag, which the bag is about 20 cents, labels about 15, 20 cents, four dollars and change for a pound. So twenty dollars a pound on that one product. So you're thinking, okay, where do I get it, Damien? All right, right here. Right here. Take a look at this. This is nutstop.com. Now, I have done videos before and I've talked about Nutstop, and I'm never going to stop talking about Nutstop. That sound, sounds redundant, but that's okay. Nutstop, I'm not going to stop talking about them because they're, they have just phenomenal quality of products, but the prices are crazy, amazing. This is direct from Peru, right, where pretty much all of it is actually grown. It's maca, and it's organic, okay? It's organic. It even has the organic label, okay? How much is it per pound? $3.99 a pound. Now, of course, you do have shipping, and I'll be honest with you, the shipping for a 25-pound case pack of anything from that stop, 25 pounds, is going to cost around uh, about $23, $24. So I put that at about $4. You're going to put about $4.99 a pound. Okay? So then how do you private label it, Damon? Well, you get this in your warehouse. You open up the box. You grab a scoop and a measure and a funnel. You open your bag. You put it in the – and you let it pour into the bag. You seal it. You put a label on it, and you're making $20 a bag, potentially. You'd be making okay so even if it if your costs were slightly a little bit more and let's just say on the on the lower end you're making only 15 dollars a pound you sell a hundred of these bags in a month or even a hundred a week or a hundred every two weeks okay and you're making fifteen dollars a profit on one that's fifteen hundred dollars either weekly if you were to sell that many and there's ways that you could sell way even more than that okay um with fba by the way if you wanted to go that route and have them fulfill it. You know, they have multi-channel fulfillment. Have you ever heard of that? Multi-channel fulfillment means that you can open a shop on eBay, your own your own, your own, own website, and they do the fulfillment for it. So once a customer places an order, let's say, on eBay, you then just simply place an order for that exact item for – tell Amazon, hey, you guys need to fulfill this order and ship it out to this address. And you give them the address and they, they ship it. So you can leverage the ability to be on multiple platforms selling the same product – and having Amazon fulfill it for you, making margins of ridiculous amounts on, on this superfood that is extremely popular, very healthy. Here's one right here, 32 ounce. Now, granted, this one is on sale, so keep that in mind. <clears throat> so the fee here, let's see, is this FBA? Yes, okay, it is FBA. All right, see right here? FBA, so Amazon is fulfilling this order. They're charging him $9.27. So he's netting from his, uh, pr from his price, minus his fees, he's netting 20. Let's say again, on the high side, it's costing him $10 for two, two one pound bags. So he has, he's making $10 a pop on two bags. I'm sorry. Yeah. Two, um, two, 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 two pounds, two pounds. So very simply, simply put, simply, sorry about that. Very simply put, there is a huge market for these healthy products. And maca is only one of a ton of superfoods. And let me show you really quick what I mean by that. Superfoods right here. And, the, and Nutstop recently added these items. By the way, they didn't have superfoods till about, I guess, about a half a year ago, maybe uh, probably eight months. The, look at all of these different products, guys, that you can buy in bulk. This, by the way, is spirulina, hugely popular. Organic, by the way, which is the quality is amazing. Now, don't get afraid when you see $14 a pound um, because this retails for almost double to almost two and a half times that on marketplaces like Amazon. Okay, and you just slowly go down through it. It just goes on and on. Turmeric is huge right now. Moringa powder, organic. Again, keep in mind, these are all organic, guys, which is huge. It's a huge selling point for these types of products because it's much cleaner food, and you can ask a higher amount when you're, when you're retailing it. Cocoa, organic cocoa powder, goji powder, uh, which is very hard to find, by the way, in retail stores, the, the powder. Goji berries is different right here. Okay. Or you can even – even that itself. It doesn't have to be a powder form. You can buy this in bulk, go, organic goji berries, private label it, and sell it. You're flipping it for ridiculous amounts of money. So I had – like I said before, I did a video uh, briefly about these superfoods quite a while back. But I wanted to bring it to your attention today in particular because there was a lot of questions I was getting about private labeling options. Like what, what, what can be private labeled? And I actually have a list of <laughs> – a list of food products that can be private label. Almost anything can be, to be honest with you. So, guys, really quick, I'll keep it short and simple. I was just super excited. I wanted to show you this, the, the profit profit margin on these and the, 
uh, the product itself. How you know, it's also an easy item to repackage and private label. So if you're looking for, a, for uh, number one, looking for a software, you want to see this to check this out for yourself. By the way, AMZ Scout, I'll put a link down in the description. You can click on that and come and check out the software and see for yourself. Now, this applies for anything. If you're making cookies, if you want to do a line of cookies, it doesn't matter. Everything that's on Amazon can be basically an analyzed. It can be broken down and all this data information can be presented to you. But of course, we're like I said, we're focused on food. So if you're looking to create a food product and you want to get on the world's biggest online e-commerce website, this information is priceless. And they do, by the way, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, AMZ, I'm checking my notes. Yes, they do have a, they have a free trial period. If you wanted to sign up, I think it's 14 days. You got like two weeks, if I'm not mistaken, which is a great amount of time to pl play with the software. Take a look for yourself um, and see how well this, this can work for you. Okay. And of course it has a product, product tracker, which right now that list for me is empty. I haven't added anything to it, but if you want to want to track a specific product, you can actually track one of these and keep an eye on it. Okay, and you can see how it sells over a period of time. You can analyze that data too. So with that being said, I'm going to wrap it up. I appreciate you guys taking a look at this. I was super excited to bring this to you because it's another aspect of, it's another extension of a food business that you could create without having to really invest a lot of money, you know, without starting a restaurant or a food truck, you're talking six figures just to get started. You can, you can private label some of these products and get a handful of them out there, get them circulated and get some, generate some revenue and then slowly scale that business up. So uh, if this was helpful and gave you some great ideas, please always do give me a big thumbs up. And if you have someone that you know who can benefit from my channel, as always, please do share my, my videos with them. I appreciate you guys' support. And as always, the questions and the feedback that you guys give me, it helps to motivate me to make more of these videos. So thank you guys and have a great day.